to solve simultaneous linear equation then stay tuned as I will be showing to you the various methods we use in solving simultaneous equation my name is Justice Johnson from Maths Solution in our lesson today we shall look at the first method of solving simultaneous linear equation and the first method is substitution method we shall be looking at different examples on that substitution method now the first one on the board is solve e equals to 3f and 4e minus 5f equals to 14 simultaneously now when we say simultaneously we mean um, solving two or more equations at the same time that is uh, we are not taking them uh, separately but instead we are taking them together that's what we mean by simultaneous okay now how do we approach this question on the board the first thing we do now is to come to this first part here which is e equals to 3 f usually uh, if we want to write this let's call this one equation one then for the next one uh, we have 4 e minus 5 f equals to 14 let's call this uh, equation 2 now under the substitution method we are to um, take like for instance what we have here we can see that e is already a subject on its own it is standing on its own so we are to replace e from this equation 1 we are to replace it in equation 2 with the value it is equals to here so what i'm trying to say now is this since e equals to 3f then we are going to come to equation 2 wherever we have our e we are to replace it with 3f and that is substitution method so substitution method means um you take the value of one away and replace it with something that is equivalent with it so e equals to 3f so what's the next step we do here we say put e equals to 3f into into equation equation 2 now in equation 2 we are going to have 4 e minus 5 f equals to 14 now we do the substitution here in the next level so we say 4 now e is equals to what 3 f so instead of writing the e we introduce the bracket and we we'll put our 3 f close the bracket then over here we write minus then here we have 5 f equals to 14 now in our previous lessons you know that the bracket means time so 4 times 3f will give us 12f then we have minus 5f and that equals to 14. now what do we do here we simplify these values 12f minus 5f will give us 7f equals to 14. now what do we do to this 7f we are going to divide both sides by 7 and if we divide both sides by 7 we are going to have the value for f to be let's take it up here we are going to have the value for f therefore f is 2 where do we get this 2 from from this place where we are having 14 divided by 7 so when we divide 14 by 7 that gives us 2 so we have gotten the value for what for f now we need to get the value for e and if you come back to where we started from you will see that we can easily get the value for e because e here is already on its own so we are going to put f equals to 2 into equation equation 1 that's what we are going to do we are going to put it into equation 1 now in equation 1 our e will become 3f which is e 
equals to 3 times the value of f and if f is 2 then 3 times 2 will finally give us the value for e and that is what 6 so that is the final answer to the question you can see that see we have solved the two equations using our uh, substitution method so f is 2 and e is 6 so we can conclude therefore by saying e equals to 6 and f equals to 2 and that is the final result for this problem i hope you enjoyed this first lesson and please do stay with me throughout this uh, simultaneous linear equation i will be showing you different methods and we shall go deeper into simultaneous equation i would like to see you in my next lesson but please don't forget to hit the um you know the bell icon so that you can be notified when the next video comes up we always release video every week and subscribe if you have not done so thank you for your time don't forget to like this video and also to leave a comment in the comment box thank you for your time and i will see you in my next lesson